welcome to another For the Love of Learning video with me, Miss D. Today we're going to be looking at the difference between prime numbers and composite numbers. So let's look at a definition of both of these, starting with prime numbers. A prime number is a whole number which only has two factors. Okay, let's break that down. So by whole number, I mean no fractions, no decimals, and absolutely no remainders. I'm also only talking positive numbers, so adios negatives. This is less complicated than it sounds. It's just our counting numbers. So one, six, 104. A prime number also only has two factors, one and the number itself. If you feel a bit unsure on factoring numbers, have a look at my previous video. I'll put a link in the comments below. Okay, let's have a look at an example, three. So we're gonna factor three. Well, it's only divisible by one and itself. One multiplied by three is three. So it's only got two factors. That means that it's a prime number. Let's have a look at another example, four. We're gonna factor four. Okay, so I know that one times four is four and two times two is four. So the number four actually has three factors, one, two, and four. This means it's not a prime number because a prime number, remember, only has two factors, one and itself. This means it is a composite number. What's the definition of a composite number? A composite number has more than two factors. Okay, let's decide if these numbers are composite or prime. Let's start with 12. Okay, so we're gonna factor 12. Well, I can see that the number 12 has got six factors. One and 12, two and six, three and four. Therefore, it can't be a prime number, so it must be a composite number. Now let's try 13. We're gonna factor it. Well, we can see that the number 13 only has two factors, one and 13. That means that it's a prime number. Now 14, well, the number 14, when we write down the factors, we've got one and 14, but we've also got two and seven. That means that is a composite number, so it's not prime. Your turn, have a look at these numbers. One of these numbers is a prime number. Can you spot it? Answers in three, two, one. Yep, it's the number five because the number five is only divisible by one and itself. An interesting number to talk about, and it's definitely worth mentioning, is the number one. So let's factor the number one, okay? One times one is one. So it technically is only divisible by itself and one. However, it only has one factor, just the number one, so it doesn't count as a prime number. Now I'm gonna show you the most unusual prime number. See if you can spot what makes this number so special. Yeah, the number two is a prime number and it's also the only even prime number because every other prime number is divisible by at least one and itself, but also the number two. Your turn again. Can you sort these numbers into prime and composite? Pause the video now. Answers coming in three, two, one. Thanks for joining me today. Remember, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.